Real estate myths debunked. Today on the Prosper Polls, I'm sitting here with Kevin. And just like you heard at the beginning, we're gonna be covering three of the top myths in real estate and we're going to debunk them. So uh, Kevin, take it from here. Absolutely, yeah. Myth number one that we hear from buyers often is they have a fear that they have to pay a real estate agent, which in fact, it's completely not true. The seller pays for both the buyer's agent and the seller's agent in their commission. So if you don't have to pay for a buyer's agent, wouldn't you want to work with someone that is local, has the expertise on the neighborhood, the schools, shoot, property tax assessments, there's so much information that buyers need to have. You might as well work with a local expert because you're not paying the commission for that real estate agent at all. Really quick review is if you're in the market to purchase a house as a buyer, you don't have to budget to pay an agent. That all falls into the seller's pay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Perfect. Great myth. And I would say myth number two that we hear a lot uh, from our buyers is everyone thinks they have to have 20% or more down, which again, could be completely false. I've seen people qualify with as little as 3% down. There's so many different programs. Shoot, there are programs that give you a grant for your down payment. So as someone's trying to save and save for 20% down, the home values that continue to increase, it's a moving target. So most buyers, it makes sense as long as you are comfortable with the payment, the terms, get in now with less money down, and get your foot in the door and start accumulating that equity. Okay, so myth number two is you don't necessarily need a 20% down payment to Absolutely. get into a home. Sure. Different programs and different different programs and grants yeah. really afford you some flexibility. Yeah, as long as you're working with the correct uh, bank and lending institution, we have several that we can recommend to you that we work with very closely, and all of them have those programs that I mentioned. Awesome, that's a really good myth to debunk. Awesome, and I'd say number three, uh, it's probably <laughs> so many people want to go out and start shopping for real estate without having a pre-approval. And I got to tell you, it's, you're doing it backward because what's going to happen is you're going to fall in love with the home and we can't make any kind of an offer without a pre-approval. So again, going back to talking with that lender as you're going over different programs, give them everything that they're asked for, get yourself pre-approved. Those pre-approvals last for quite a while. That way when you're going out there and you fall in love with that property, you can actually make an offer on it because they're going sometimes a week or two as they're gone. Okay, so the third myth is that you should shop before you qualify. But really, in real estate, what you should do is get qualified to purchase a home and then go out and do the fun Abs part of shopping. Absolutely, plus that way you'll know what your budget is. You might think you can afford a $700,000 home and when maybe more you're more comfortable with 500 or maybe vice versa. Maybe you can qualify for much more. Shoot, the rates are so low. I'm seeing people go $50,000, $70,000 over what they originally thought and they're totally comfortable with the down payment and the terms. And that way you can afford to get the home that you really want. Wow. I mean, these are really great myths to debunk. If, you're, if you've never purchased a home before or you haven't purchased one in a long time, just keep in mind that it's important to reach out to your local real estate professionals. So first myth that we debunked is that the buyer pays the agent. That's actually false, where yeah. the agent that represents the seller pays both it, commissions. There we go. <laughs> and number two is you don't necessarily need 20% down to purchase a home. That's true. And number three, it's fun to shop, but you don't shop until you know what your budget is by getting a pre -approved. Absolutely. So just reach out to Mark Schweller directly. He'll be happy to put you in touch with those lenders that we mentioned, as well as answer any questions that you might have. Because again, there are so many more myths out there. We want to make sure that you are educated and that everything's going to go smoothly for you in your transaction. All right. So Kevin, thank you so much for so much great information information today. So the three myths that we debunked today are that the buyer pays the agent. Actually, the seller does. Number two, that you need 20% down to purchase a home. Again, not necessarily. And myth number three was that you shopped before you qualified. And really what you do is qualify and then go shopping. Absolutely. So thank you so much for your insight and keep in touch with us because we're going to be debunking more myths as time goes by. We are truly here to help you prosper in California.